I would always say welcome to the Wisconsin Concrete Park. It is located just north of Phillips. It is a county park, which is supported by the uh, Kohler Foundation from Sheboygan. There were over 250 at one time uh, statues, and each statue has a story. Well, this is the story of Fred, that he retired in 48, and his newfound passion was doing these things. He was a farmer, a logger, a tavern keeper. He enjoyed the North Woods, and when he was in his 62nd year, he um, gave in to his inner inspiration and started constructing concrete statues and artwork. He said, nobody knows why, what caused me to do it, not even me. <laughs> All the trees were part of the cutover and he purchased this land when he was only 17. There were no trees. It was pretty dismal looking. And when he started thinking about what he wanted to do, he wanted to do what a lot of people want to do. They want to make something more beautiful. They, they want to take away from the dismalness of the land. He said, Wisconsin needs something like this. <laughs> he had very interesting comments about things. Fred created this by cement and glass. He was, he was a person that used what he had in his backyard. Because he had a tavern, he had a ready supply of glass. He also visited the junkyard to take parts of old cars and use them to decorate his sculpture. The cement was placed on top of wood and mink wire. He raised mink also. So he had these things at, at his disposal. First he started with the flat things. These were laid on the ground and he built up the bas relief, the heads of the dogs, the, uh, the deer that are the bas relief, and he used he used he separated stone by color to use it as the mosaics. One of the things they always said about the area is uh, there's lots of cheap land and enough rock for building purposes. <laughs> Here is Mr. Everson, Everson, who Fred called King of the Road. First he did the four horses, then he did the wagon, and last of all he put Mr. Everson on top and crowned him King of the Road with uh, the, royal, the royal crown. Here is a nod to our first settlers, farmers, then people he called the stump pullers. He was very um, appreciative of the people who settled the country because there was a lot of work to be done and the stump pullers were some of the first. These these things were preserved to have Fred's own words. What he did was he, since he could not read or write, he spoke to a person with, that would type his words out and then he would put them 
uh, on the paper under plastic and mount it here. And what he said here was, Henry Muckovitz says that all the land was cleared here, but just like John Putro shows here, all these acres ox with oxen and horses. Then came the tractors. Muckovitz says, go over and see the tractor work. And then he found nobody. He found nobody home. The tractor was setting on the barnyard and him and his family were on the road trying out their new car. So the tractors are in his barnyard and there was no one home there. He just bought a new car and was on the road trying it out. Muckovitz says he was driving around the country and all he saw was cars and people on the road. So there was no chance that any more land would be cleared. The land that they are farming, the horses made. He was rather distraught that things were going from horses to tractors to cars on the road. I think that every person that comes has their own ideas about about things and it all it all strikes everyone individually. That's why it's hard to give a tour that's going to be the same to everybody. <laughs>